Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to create slanted coping. Yeah, coping like this that is slanted on the wall. I'd like to show you guys how I did this. Okay. Um, I tried this with Morph, but it didn't work. And then I tried it with, um, this is the roof. I used the roof to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to go about this in the GFA. But before I proceed, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos when I post. Now let's get started guys. So I'm going to go, I actually copied this out. I'm going to go to the file right now. So I'm going to show you guys how I came about that right now. Okay. Let's go to the plan. Okay. Here's the plan. What we are going to do right now is we are going to use the same um, roof. Okay, the same roof angle we used. So we want it to align with the roof angle. So we are going to use the same. And, 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 and get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a roof over it. Probably maybe I'm going to use this and draw a roof over it. Okay. I just created the roof now. I'm going to use that roof and I'm going to extend the roof. There's no need to extend it, but what I'm going to do is uh, since we are, we have our fall, we have our fall here, 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 here. So the longer part, I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it. I'll make sure it is at the center of our of this the center. Okay, so I'm going to put it at the center, and then I'm going to take this down. This down. <coughs> Going to take this down to and then extend this. Okay, and extend this. Okay, so make sure you still put it at the center. Now that's fine. So we go to our 3D. Let's just all right, that is it there. So we'll shift it to our desired position. Let's use the um this is this is the section line. You can pick a section line here or you can just go to this document right here and pick a section line, then you draw a section line. Okay. So draw a section line. So I I'm going to view it right there. So we can drag it down to our desired height. So I'm going to drag it down right now. I think this is fine. Let's go to our 3D and see. Okay, now this is fine. So, guys, this is fine. So, what we are going to do now is we are going to crop this. Right? We are going to crop it. You click. 
and then you crop. But before you crop, they are going to split it. You split the roof, okay? Split the roof and you say, okay. Right, it has been splitted if you notice. So why this one, why I can select just one plane is because it's, we have suspended the group. So you we'll click both or you will suspend the group before you, okay, so you can click group at once. Then you right click, when you click the group, you right click and you say crop, crop single plane to roof, crop single plane roof, okay, then you see crop element up, okay, then you say okay, so it will crop that wall, right, it will crop the wall and you will have your slanted wall, so what I'm going to show you right now is the coping, which, which is the main purpose of this video, so what we are going to do now is we are going to use, use this same roof, right, to do the coping. All we are going to do is adjust, adjust this stuff. Right now, you can't adjust it. You can't adjust it because we have, it is still group. So we all we do is just go to suspend group, okay? And then we, we can this um, palette would show. Then you just you know, adjust, adjust it just the way you want, okay? Just like that, okay. Just like so. Just like that. And same thing here. So, right now, what we will do is we will um, create a hole in the roof right there, okay. So it's either if you want it to be simple, all we do is let's see if um, okay, it's not working. So what we'll do is we'll create a hole by maybe clicking this and then drop subtract. Okay, subtract. It's just click anywhere and subtract. Okay. Same thing with this roof. Click the edges will make that stuff the show. Then we we'll click and subtract. So you can just adjust the offset a bit. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Same way. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now that's fine. Let's go to our, our 3D. And you can see what we have right here. All you need to do is select, select it, go to your settings, and uh, activate this. Okay. Activate this, and then you can always give it the thickness and then you change the material to your color your desired color white all right now we have our coping right there okay we have our coping right there you can just change the color okay the color to um, black to make it look nice all right so that's pretty much how to go about this Okay, now that's it. You can, you can, you may want to increase the thickness a bit if you want to. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. So let's just keep it at 50. So guys, I think by the end of this video, you should, you should, you know, know how to do this on your own. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to your friends. I'll see you in the next one.